Hey guys, what is up? It is Scuzzy, and welcome to episode 52 of the Monday series. Now today, uh, I'm going to, of course, read the news, and it looks like it's some sort of celebration, and then I'll go over the patch notes. So, as always, I'm going to read this. Uh, so, Menaphos birthday celebrations. It's Menaphos's Menaph. Well, depending on where you're from, I guess Menaphos. Menaphos's. I don't like saying it like that. Menaphos's first birthday. One year ago, on June 5th, 2017, we opened the gates to Menaphos, the Golden City, and to celebrate the date, we've got a Menaphos-themed update for you this week. So if you log in any time this week, you'll be given a Menaphos birthday gift box, which I actually did log into my account a little bit earlier, maybe like five minutes ago, and I had it in my inventory. Um, you're going to need a good amount of space, at least, I guess, three s spots, and I didn't have it, so I couldn't open it. But uh, inside, you're going to get a Magister Teleport tablet and a free untradeable key to the crossing, so I guess that is for uh, a kill at the Magister, if you would like to do that. You will also get 20 feathers of the Mahat, Mahat um, a large Menophyte gift offering. <clears throat> In addition to receiving this gift, you'll also see that the spawn rate for both Soul Obelisks and Corrupted Scarabs will be doubled throughout the entire month of June, uh, all the way until July 4th. So the reputation is going to be increased as well, uh, the gain rates, that is. We've listened to your feedback, and we've increased the rate you gain uh, reputation. From now on, you will have a 1.25 uh, times reputation boost after completing the Jack of Spades quest. This boost will further increase with every quest you complete. Uh, the Crocodile Tears will be 1.5 modifier. Our man in the north will be 1.75, and then when you kill, I mean, when you complete the fight club, uh, you will have a two times modifier. Now, I don't know if that's permanent or if it's just for the month of June. It does not say that it ends at the end of June, so I'm going to assume that it's permanent, which is crazy, uh, crazy cool. Uh, but so there's also the curse to Shabti. We've also added a new item to the game, the Curse to Shabti. You can create it by combining a normal one with Cursed Amuscut uh, Sand, which has a chance of dropping from Ripper Demons, Camel Warriors, Asheron Mammoths, and Living Wyverns. The new Cursed Ushabti increases the chance of catching souls by... F Whoa! By 50%! Whoa! Okay. When compared to the normal Ushabti. That is a huge difference. Wow. I'm liking that. I'll have to go do that. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Not sure. Uh, by the way, the scheduling for the videos is going to be one on Monday, one on Wednesday, and one on Friday. The Wednesday and Friday videos are going to be basically whatever I feel like posting at the time. Uh, currently, I'm doing a, a clue series, so that's what that is going to be. And uh, Mondays are going to be the Mondays because a lot of you guys actually like these. So next is the general Menaphos improvements. We've made a bunch of quality of life changes based on the feedback you gave us here. Um, not going to read it. Some of the highlights are going to be uh, exchange clerks have been moved to be with the bankers in the Menaphos bank. Oh, so that's good. The Menaphite gift offerings are now stackable in your inventory and can be deposited into your bank. Also, handing in pyramid tops to Simon Templeton with the elite desert achievements completed will now give 10,000 coins per top. What? Who does that? <laughs> I don't think anybody does that. Uh, you can read all the changes uh, for the... The heck? Why is that orange? For the patch notes. I don't know why it's like that. Um, so I'll read that in a minute, but I'm going to keep reading this. So we have Menaphos pays competition fancy some new awesome signed metaphos concept art have you been planning to achieve tier 10 metaphos reputation well here's a competition for you mod meadows has gone all around the office to try to get as um as many signatures as possible on some fancy a2 metaphos concept art we're giving away five pieces to a random bunch of you hard workers celebrating the new reputation gain and metaphos's burst bur burst day 
birthday. Yippee. All you need to do, uh, all you, <clears throat> excuse me, all you need is tier 10 overall Menaphos reputation by the 25th of June, and you will have a chance to win. Currently, I am tier 10, so I'm not, I don't have to do anything, but if you do want to enter, uh, that, I guess, is what you need to do. Even if you already have it before the days, today's rebalance, you will still be counted. Perfect. So I don't have to get it again. Not that I could have. Uh, you can find out more about the competition in terms here. So if you guys want to see that, uh, make sure you go to this page that I have here. I'll put this page in the description as well. Uh, you will be notified of your win with instructions on what to do next via your in-game inbox. Uh, so not your chat. Not your chat? In-game inbox. Might be your chat. That might be your chat. Not sure. Uh, you have until June 25th to be counted. Good luck, Mana Fights. Uh, price rise. As a reminder, we will be uh, Jagex will be increasing the price of membership for new members and those who've been unsubscribed for more than 14 days, which actually would include me. Crap. Uh, the price of bonds. Oh wait, no. I haven't been unsubscribed for more than 14 days. I, I'm, I'm pretty swift on that. Uh, the price of bonds, treasure hunter keys, and rune coins will also be increasing. You can read more here. So a lot of stuff to read. Uh, we have the SGS uh, Summer Sale, which does not stand for Saradoma God Sword. It stands for Solomon's General Store, if you guys weren't unaware. The Summer Sales are back at the Solomon Solomon's General Store with items discontinued throughout the month of June. Check back every week for new bargains. He's also adding three new playing card outfits to his wares, including the Twisted Jester, which is the one that's playing uh, just below this text, which is complete with the with a, a Barmy Walk Override. Uh, plus, they have the Kings and Queens of Spades and Diamonds. Uh, it's time for you to open. Uh, it's time. For, blah, 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 blah. It's time. <laughs> I can't read. It's time for you to up your game in your wardrobe. I don't think I'm going to be doing that, unfortunately. But So we also have Vic the Trader. Now, he is a good friend of mine. <laughs> I've seen him a couple times back when I was actually playing. But Vic the Trader makes a welcome return to the game today and stays for three weeks with the Elite Trapper outfit and Dwarven tools being added to his store. Make sure you pay him a visit. <clears throat> There's also Lootscape if you want to watch the live streams. Uh, you can check that out. You can sometimes get uh, some cool loot from that in-game. Uh, and then it goes to show the different... Oh, so every single... Oh, you know why? It's because I've I've searched for the word patch. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dumb. Okay, I thought it was like something weird <laughs> with the with the uh, the format or whatever. No, it was just me searching for the word patch because I couldn't find it earlier and I wanted to find the patch notes link. So uh, there's a bunch of uh, live streams that are gonna happen. There's also uh, the Solak Player Gallery. Um, I guess a bunch of people did some art for it and they're showcasing it. So if you want to read that, you can. Uh, there's some community events as well, um, which I will scroll down very slowly if you want to take part of any of that. And then I am going to go to the patch notes here, and I'm going to look at a couple of them and see if there's any worth noting that I personally think. Um, so here we go. The Flaming Sword Override can now be used with dyed Kopesh weapons. Now, I don't personally have any dyed Kopesh weapons, but maybe I will in the future if I get a die from my Clue Scroll series. An issue with the positioning of a sheathed ice dyed Noxious Scythe when performing different animations has been fixed. The Master Lockpick now works correctly for chest in Dorgish Khan. Using an Elf Thieving Reset Token will no longer occasionally block players from pickpocketing Elves. That seems like a big issue. I'm glad they fixed that. Grinding Mud Runes now works correctly if a player has a Charged Wicked Pouch equipped. Players in an even-sized Dungeoneering group who do not use melee to attack a Dungeoneering boss can now receive Lore Book Drops. That's a very, very specific issue um, that has been fixed. It has been discovered by, uh, oh, as discovered by Shawnee and his new wife. So, again, congratulations to both of you. 
Very cool. Prismatic stars no longer drop to the floor if looted from a treasure trail reward casket with a full inventory. So there's a bunch of stuff for Solak that they've fixed. I'm going to go over them really quickly. I know I have not made a Solak video. I actually have not even taken on Solak because my life is a little busy right now and I don't really feel like uh, essentially wasting my own time and then whoever else is with me then, um, you know, making those failed kills. I'll, I will watch... Uh, other people do it and kind of get a feel for it before I even attempt it. But here are some of the uh, issues that they fixed. The minimum and maximum amount of Reaper kills assigned for Solak has been lowered. The life points on the manifestations of Aerith Door on Phase 4 of Solak's group mode in the overworld has been lowered from 45,000 to 25,000. Another magical mushroom has appeared near the fairy ring in the Lost Grove, which acts as a shortcut down from the hill. An option to exit the arena before the fight has st uh, started has been added to Solak, so if you have any uh, second thoughts about doing it or if you forgot a supply or something like that you can use that the burst of nature attack will no longer deal damage to players at the end of phase four if solak has been killed which is a very good thing from what i have seen um people that were coming out of the shadow phase i guess is what people are calling it uh were getting destroyed on the f i think it was the final phase um or phase four there might be five phases i'm not even sure uh, but they were getting, yeah, it must be because it says Solak has been killed. So phase four is the end. Um, yeah, so you're not going to die at the end. So that's good. A purple spot to them. I don't know what that word is. Spot to them that plays around Solak will now clear at the start of the next attack. Solak will no longer attempt to instant insta kill players who have left a previous Solak fight and entered a fresh battle. Oh, wow. That would suck. Weapon Poison now tracks correctly when dealing the final blow to Solak's limbs. And we already read this stuff before. Not all of it, but some of it. Um, you can feel free to read the rest of it. I'll put the um, the quick find code in the description. Uh, so all you have to do is use that when you go on the forums, and it'll bring you to this page. So that's good. So this is under the ninja fixes. It is now possible to combine all four God Wars soul stones near the altar east of the rope exit within the God Wars dungeon to create an omni soul stone, which can store all the boss, all the bosses from the God Wars uh, and their kill counts, which is nice. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, feel free to read the uh, the rest of it. The video is getting a little bit too long, so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on Wednesday for another video. Peace. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great day. Follow me on social media and subscribe for more. Peace. Lions roaring in the morning sun, searching for a longer day.